Today I thought I would bring to you another large family shopping slash grocery haul. Um, this time I was actually able to find some of the cleaning supplies I haven't been able to for a while. to my channel everybody today I thought I would bring to you another large family shopping slash grocery haul um, this time I was actually able to find some of the cleaning supplies I haven't been able to for a while so I was pretty excited about that anyway let's get into the haul don't forget if you like videos like this give it a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you are not already I'm gonna start over here with the Walmart part of the haul we purchased four gallons of white milk and then two gallons of chocolate. Um, one of my kids had asked for a different flavor of goldfish because I usually get the big box. So I picked up a couple of these. I got two packages of the Parmesan goldfish and then two of the pizza flavored. And then some farm fresh um, green apples because some of my kids like the green apples. I'm not a fan, but they really like them. So I picked those up. And then I didn't realize when I was purchasing the apples that I picked up organic um, gala apples, but they were a good deal. So I ended up getting a bag of organic and then um, some more drink packets. This is for our oldest daughter that lives at home. Um, she likes the peach mango green tea. So we picked up three of those. And then our oldest son that lives at home really likes the iced tea with peach. So I picked him up two more packets of those. And then this is a new flavor for us. This is watermelon limeade. So I thought we'd try this and see how it is. So I just picked up two of those. And then um, I got some more of the Folgers decaffeinated drink packets. I really love these, you guys, they're awesome. So these make a single cup and they just work beautifully for that because I only drink like one a day when it's cold. Um, I don't drink coffee all the time, sometimes too. But um, these just make a perfect cup, and it's like 80 cents for six packets. So, And then I picked up some more of the dragon fruit flavor. I got four of those, and then I found some more of the cherry pomegranate. So our youngest daughter, um, does she just absolutely loves this flavor. So I grabbed the five packages that they had available there. Um, this has been a really hard flavor to come across. So... Okay, and then I picked up a 30-pack of these Great Value mini cookies for snack time for the kids. Um, it came with the iced oatmeal, mini chippers, and alphabet cookies, so I thought that'd be a nice addition to like their lunch or snack time. And then I picked up these Austin brand crackers, and they had a variety pack. So it was 36 packs, and they have the peanut butter and jelly, uh, or peanut butter and jelly, the plain peanut butter, cheddar cheese, and then... Um, peanut butter with cheese crackers so I thought that'd be another good like lunch or snack time thing and then of course our big box of the flavor blasted goldfish you guys we love these <laughs> and then these are, have been a smash hit in the house these are great for breakfast time I just pop them in the microwave and a lot of times like when I make pancakes I'll make extra pancakes and freeze them um, so I'll put like I'll microwave a pancake and then put one of these on the plate and it's a nice warm breakfast for the kids. So I picked up two packages of the maple flavored and these are the full size uh, pork sausage patties. They really like those. And then um, I picked up another thing of movie theater butter. That's for our back stock because I've used some of them. So I just wanted to replenish and I wanted to replenish our white cheddar and I normally get the really big one. It's like 7.5 ounces, but nobody's had it. So I was able to find three of these 2.5 ounces. Um, so I figured that'll that'll replace our single one that I couldn't get. So I picked up three of those. That's all I could find. And then um, I got a big tub of butter because we're almost out. And then we are gonna be doing trick-or-treating here in the house. So I picked up some of our trick-or-treat candy. I got 315 of the miniatures. Um, and this has got Reese's, Kit Kat, 
Um, my oldest son had actually, and he's an adult, you guys, but of course he's going to want some of the Halloween candy. All of us will. Um, he asked for these specifically for these Jolly Rancher sticks. So I picked up this bag because it had those, and then it has the Twizzlers and the Jolly Rancher lollipops and Whoppers. And then I picked up a 135 piece that has the chocolate variety with the M&Ms and Snickers, Twix, Milky Way. So I think that's a good variety of candy to load up the kids with. And then this is for one of our sons, Zane. He absolutely loves chicken and a biscuit. So I picked up two of the family size boxes and you might hear him squeak here in the background in a minute. He's trying to be quiet, but I know he's gonna be really excited to know that I picked these up. And then I actually hit Walmart's clearance aisle in the food department. I hadn't been to their clearance aisle in quite some time. And I came across, you guys, these Taco Bell crunchy tacos. So my husband loves crunchy tacos. These are good till March of next year, um, as long as they haven't been opened. And they were, oh, I'm throwing them. They were 90 cents, you guys. So I picked up four boxes because I figured we will end up using those. And if we use them sooner, then I'll go pick up some more because they're good for so long. I'm not quite sure why they were clearanced out, but they were 90 cents a box. So that was a super good deal. Taco Bell brand. So that should make us some hard shell tacos for a while. And then this was another thing I found in the clearance aisle. These were, um, I bought six things of the black beans. These were... Uh, 25 cents a piece. So yeah, I paid $1.50 for some black beans and I figured we can do a dip or some type of soup or something. I know I've seen some recipes that looked pretty tasty with black beans. I just at the time couldn't think of anything off the top of my head, but I knew it was something that we'd be able to use and I'll put this down in our, our food storage area. So, and these are good till 2023. So can't beat that 25 cents a can. Okay, and this is one of our school supplies, you guys. When the kids do their school, I'll give them one or two red vines after their school day. So I always buy this big tub of red vines and these are these are uh, one of mom's vices as well. If you've been watching our hauls, you know that. Okay, so, oh no, I guess I do have a few more things in my Walmart haul. Um, we just got a brand new oven. And so I got this because you're supposed to be able to clean the inside of the oven with it. It's a degreaser by Easy Off. So I thought I would try that. I've never used it before. Um, but I know the Easy Off brand is really popular. So I thought I would try that one for cleaning up spills in my, my new oven. And then I needed some more eight gallon trash bin or trash bags. I use these under our my homeschool desk. Um, so I picked those up and they had these in the linen fresh scent. So I was pretty excited and the drawstring. So this will last me forever. I only change that garbage can once a week. So this will be like almost a year's supply of garbage bags for me, maybe a little less, but, um, and then I picked these up because in my bathroom, I keep a four gallon trash bin and, um, my husband, I just picked him one up. So I thought I'd pick up this and it's ocean water scent. They had these for like four bucks at Walmart um, and it's 80 bags. So that garbage gets changed a little bit more often. So this will probably be like maybe a month, two months supply. I don't know, maybe longer, we'll see. And then, um, oh yeah. And then the lens wipes. So we use these on everything from camera lenses to tablets to our glasses. So we were completely out. The kids will be excited to see that. The next part of the haul is from Menards. Um, and one of the things that I have been desperately looking for is um, disinfectant spray. So they actually had some on an end cap. They had a whole end cap full. And these have been really hard to come across um, since coronavirus. And I, you guys, I prefer this scent in my bathroom for like people to spray after they use the bathroom. I don't like fruity or florally scents. I like just a plain old disinfectant spray. I think it works a lot better. And due to coronavirus, it's been really hard to find them. So I was pretty excited to find some for each of my bathrooms. Um, I, they were a little bit more than I normally pay because I usually get mine at the Dollar Tree. Um, they're just, I mean, they're a buck there. These were $2.99, but when I saw them at Menards, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pick some up. And at least now I know where I can find some um, if I need it. So I was pretty excited for that. And like I said, we just got a new um, oven and stovetop. And 
It is glass top, so I haven't had a glass top for a while since we moved to this house. And I didn't have any glass top cleaner, so I picked this cooktop cleaning kit up. Um, and it came with like the scrubber and the scraper and the cleaning stuff and the pads. So I thought I'd try this out. I've never used that brand, but I thought, you know what? It's the whole kit, so good deal. I'm gonna pick it up and try it out. And then the new oven, I actually got this bottle. I don't normally keep this stuff on hand, but the new oven, and we have a brand new window. There's a brand new door downstairs. Um, and there's adhesive on it from the stickers that wouldn't come off. So I got this to try to clean that stuff off. And then I get my batteries at Sam's a lot, but they haven't been lasting. So when I was at Menards, they had these and it was like $14 for 20 AA batteries. We use a lot of batteries in this house. I need to get some rechargeable because somebody suggested it, but I just, I have not picked up the stuff for it. They're a little bit more expensive. And so I haven't invested to do it yet, but I do want to. Um, but in the meantime, I thought I would pick up some Duracells and see if just getting the little bit more expensive battery will help them last longer and we won't go through so many. So we'll see how that lasts. And then my husband had asked me to pick him up some wax melts. I've been using candles since it's fall. Um, and I will through the fall and winter and like early spring, I'll continue to use candles until it stays lighter longer. So I'm going to send my wax melter downstairs to his home office because he works from home and he's like, I really like something like that I could just plug in by my desk and make it smell nice in the bedroom because his is in our bedroom. Um, and he just, he's one of those guys. He likes scents. He likes nice scents. So I picked him these ones up at Menards and they are their Christmas scents. And this one's called Gingerbread Wishes. And you guys, these are heavenly. They smell so good. It's vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, and it's a soy blend. So we'll see how he likes those. I picked him two of those up, but when he smelled them, he said he liked the scent. So, okay. So the next part of the haul we'll do is the Dollar Tree haul. And that's this here. Um, my husband needed a trash can for his home office, so he'd been asking for one and I picked him that up. And then I wanted to get a new scent, so I use the Mrs. Myers Honeysuckle in the summer a lot, but I wanted a new scent for the fall and winter for cleaning my floors because I use one of those old cedar mops where you just put your own cleaner in with some water. Um, and then it has pads that you can just wash in the wash machine. And so I picked up this uh, Cool Mist all-in-one cleaner by Fabuloso. I like the Fabuloso brand. I normally get one that's like a baby blue color um, that Fabuloso carries, but I haven't been able to find it. But this one, I liked the smell of this, so I think that'll be comparable and good. Um, so yeah, and then I picked up, because I did find some at the Dollar Tree, they had two cans left, so I picked up some of the Dollar Tree spray disinfectant. So I have some back stock now. And now maybe I can, like when I go to the store, just pick up one or two when I see them and start getting my little bit less expensive. It does seem like the other one I got, though, has a little bit more to it. It's a bit heavier of a can, so we'll see. Um, and then I picked up, I picked up a three-pack of bubbles because we need these for um, something we're doing in our marine biology studies in science so that's what that's for and then these wooden dolls I usually keep a supply of these in my craft area but I also use these um, for look at those those are awesome see the size of them they're perfect for making caramel apples so and then I'll reuse them and wash them but after a while you end up having to uh, recycle or throw them away so um, I just picked up two packs of those and then my husband asked for some post-it notes. He's been going through our homeschool ones really quickly. Um, he needs these for work. So I just picked him up his own pack and then I had to restock my vitamin supply. I got four things of the ginseng. I was low on my ginseng and then two of the women's one a day. So that's like a two month supply that I picked up here. Okay. And then next I'm going to do our high V. So, like I've told you guys before, Hy-Vee is a local, like, Midwest chain. Um, so, I don't know if you have one in your area, but we tend to shop there a lot, and we'll do a grocery pickup through them. And they just load it right into your trunk. It's so nice. But uh, Matt picked up, I don't know, what did he get? About three pounds of shaved deli ham. He wants to do hot ham and Swiss sandwiches for dinner this week. So, I am excited about that. And then we're going to do a salad night. So, I have some lettuce at the house. 
Um, but he picked up another thing of lettuce for us, so we, we'll have enough to do that and still have some lettuce left over. And then he picked up, he likes the regular um, original pork sausage patties, so he picked, oh no, he got pork sausage. He didn't get, he normally gets turkey patties, you guys. Um, they must have been out, so they substituted with these all natural pork patties. So it's a good thing that we eat pork because somebody that didn't would not want that. Um, and then he also ordered apples um, because they had a really good deal on them. And my kids will eat them as snacks. Plus, of course, we want to make caramel apples again. So he got some of those. And the kids had requested Granny Smith apples for their caramel apples. So he got some of those specifically for that. So I'm going to make some extra big caramel apples on the next batch. And then he got Swiss cheese, of course, for our hot ham and Swiss. And then the hamburger buns are also for the hot ham and Swiss. So he generally always does our high V order and then he'll ask me if there's anything that I want to add on to it. Um, and the caramels, the caramels and the apples were <laughs> my big add on. So he picked me up four packages of caramels. The kids have really enjoyed having these throughout this fall and Halloween season. And it's something we really only do this time of year. So. I'll make them a lot during this time and then I won't make them again probably until next year. Um, and then he picked up a bunch of English muffins. We like these for our breakfast. We'll put a sausage patty on them, fry up an egg, or I'll just toast them and butter them and we'll eat them like that with maybe some jam on them. I'll pick up like homemade Amish jam at the farmer's market. I really love that. And so they must have been out when he ordered like this. And they substituted with this, but they're exactly the same, just a bigger quantity. So they gave us a 12 pack here, and then they gave us some of these six packs. We got four of the six packs here. And then the bread was 90 cents a loaf, which is really good for sandwich bread. So we picked up three of those. I'll just freeze these. I freeze my bread, you guys. And then I'll pull out a loaf and let it thaw when we're running through it. And then this is for me. I have not been drinking as much soda, actually. Um, I'll get up in the morning and I'll have like my bottle of water, take my vitamins, and then maybe I'll have like a decaf coffee. And then later by the afternoon, by about noon, I'll have one can of soda. And then I might have one again later in the evening. And that's about it. I've been doing about two cans of soda. You guys, I used to drink soda all day long. So I could drink like half a 12 pack if not more, of soda a day. So um, I do still drink soda, but I drink a lot, lot less since we started getting the drink packets. Um, it's really helped me drink a lot more water because I'm just, I'm not somebody that will sit down and drink water. I, I'm not a big water fan. Like, I just, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of like sitting down and drinking a glass of water. Uh, maybe after like mowing the lawn or something, you'd see me do that. But I, I prefer some sort of flavor. And so the flavor packets have helped me drink so much more. And I've noticed my skin is clearer and I, I just, my hair looks nicer and stuff since I've started drinking more water and a lot less soda. So I do still buy it because I do like my soda. I just don't drink as much anymore. Um, and this will last me for a while. And then this is for my husband. Um, he likes the Coke Zero, so he got two 12 packs of that. And as you can see, he already snitched one out of here. Um, I probably will not open mine yet because I still have some left over. And then this is for our oldest son, um, Skyler. He prefers like Mount, the odd flavors of Mountain Dew, or like the not odd, but you know, like the flavored Mountain Dew. Um, so he got the code red for him and then the live wire and then he was supposed to get like a, I don't know, like a red, white and dew or a Liberty or something like that. It was like some special flavor and they were out. So they substituted with just a plain Mountain Dew. So, all right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. If you did, don't forget, click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos when they drop and hit that subscribe button as well. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like videos like this and I will see you in my next video. Bye -bye.